Hi guys, it's Rachel here. It's the morning and I'm mucking around already um, planning out my day 38. I'm not quite sure what my project's going to be exactly. However, um, the prompt was, did I bring my book in? I don't think I did. Of course I didn't. Um, the prompt was inspired by a, a population of people or a race. And I can't remember who said it, but I'll say it because I'm going to be joining several videos together. So um, I I thought I would be inspired by Hungarian embroidery. So this is the type of embroidery that is Hungarian. Um, I have some pieces myself. These are my scans. Some of them are in my shop. Um, but I also went on Pinterest and just um, you know looked up Hungarian embroideries um, and just printed out different things. Um, to inspire me so what I'm doing is I don't know I just or I thought I would embroider something however that would take a really long time um, and if I were an organized person I would have started it in anticipation of this um, of today um, but I got out my Arteza acrylic colors and um, just to remind you that the the, um, the discount link is still valid until the 1st of June so um, I'll put the just the affiliate link to the shop for any um, any um, products and that way um, you can use your discount and so um, what I'm doing is I'm just being inspired by um, Hungarian embroidery and doing a painting and I'll probably do it to here it's taking me a while um, just inspired by the embroidery so I'm just combining a whole lot of different elements um, whatever I feel like and I'm just painting them um, and then I thought I might scan it because it's my painting and it's my composition um, I might scan it and then um, we'll, I'll decide what project to do I'm using one of the Arteza um, also uh, water brushes and I'm actually really enjoying using this with the acrylic because it really holds its tip really well so you're able to get you know fairly well defined um, sort of colors and um, this is really easy style of painting there's no shading or anything like that so I'm really enjoying it. it's very relaxing um, so I'll just paint a little bit then I'll stop the video and um and i'll come back and do some more so i've got um some i've got quite a few stems to do here so i'm mixing colors what color do i have here i had prussian blue and let me just find the green all oh, the greens are in here um what green did i pull out i think i pulled out not that any of those it was one of these so i've got my color charts there which are great um I think it was oh this one here it was this one here it's um no it wasn't it was just let me see did i use yes i did use green which green oh light light um light sap green that's what i used light sap green um and i've i've got a little bit of prussian blue in it for my stems and leaves so I've got that leaf there that needs to be a bit darker so what I do is I just add a bit of um, the blue and so this is going to be dark and I've just very lightly I don't know, hopefully I'm on screen yes I'm, I very lightly go at the point there and then just do my outline and then color it in it's really fun it's just like coloring in really I do actually, I forget, I do actually find this type of painting very relaxing because I don't have to worry about any effects or anything like that. So my dad's sister is a really good um, painter and one, one trick she always told me was uh, if you have to like pull a line is you, you rest your pinky on the... On, and lift your hand and then just do a continuous if you can a continue sometimes you have to stop but you do kind of like a continuous line i must say that i'm really enjoying this brush so 
and that's that we'll do all the stems and you can if you want it to the stem to you can press very lightly to get the fine tip and then if you want it to thicken um, you can just put a little bit of pressure on it I, mean, I could sit here all day and do this this is this is something that I do really enjoy and I don't do it enough really I didn't put my pinky down there it's just because it's an awkward angle I'm finding it better like that okay um, um and the thing about um Hungarian embroidery is the which is why I think it's so fun to paint it is um, the colors are very solid they don't yeah they just do solid colors so and it's a lot of satin stitch Um, there's some green here. Just do all my stems first. So it's kind of like their, their embroidery is classed as a folk embroidery. It's very, very, very beautiful. And very um, jovial colours. those little stems to do normally I would do those after I'd done the main but I think I'll just do them now and then I've got those stems that noise that's my daughter making herself an iced coffee she loves it She's whisking away making a mess for me to clean up okay so now I might do a bit of these and then we'll see how well this this, I was going to say the pen, it's not a pen, it's a brush, but I really do enjoy I don't know, um, I'm not an expert, as you know, <laughs> watercolour painter, I'm not an expert painter at all, um, but um, I don't know, I think that like you need to use a different brush for watercolouring, like, you know, for professional watercolouring, I would say, for my type of bodgy mucking around. Um, I think these are perfectly fine and I think I want some of that one with a bit more of the blue in and I'll do the center of this one the nice blue green there there's just something very relaxing about pulling paint pulling color okay that's got to be green We've got too much blue in there for that. I heard you, Lulu. Was it bothering you? No, it didn't. It wouldn't bother me. I need to put a little stem in there and do these leaves. Okay. Now, I'm going to do that stem there. Some of these leaves are going to be half a darker green and half a lighter green. I mean, if you want to relax, this is a great, great relaxation. Um, 
Just do a bit more just while I've got my green going. And I'm not messing about with, you know, a whole lot of different greens because um, I'm noticing when I'm looking at the embroideries, they really only use like two or three greens. They don't use too many. So I'm just sticking with just variations of the same mix. Like, And then when I say variations, I mean like adding a bit more blue or a bit more green to the blue. So there's more, it just changes the tone. Or is it, do you say tone or hue? I don't know. Um, got a few more there. Might as well get them done while I've got the colour there. So before it dries out. Although they don't seem to dry out too quickly. It's fun to get the, the paints out. And do something different. So yesterday we had the brush pens. And today we've got the acrylics. And I haven't pulled them out as you would have noticed. For a really long time okay so now i need to add more green to that mix and get a lighter color and just see if that's lighter okay so yes that's good add just a little bit of yellow in there definitely going to scan this because I really like it and one day I might even be inspired to embroider it which would be fun um, I'm just turning my piece of paper around so I don't um, because I'm a lefty and I seem to put my hand So relaxing. Sorry, guys. I'm just too relaxed. Could be a long one today long video Okay, that's that one anymore. Yes, there I've got, I've got some over there to do. I haven't done any leaves. I'll do that after when I'm off.
camera because I am going to I'm going to do a bit more. I do find these Hungarian embroideries quite often at the antique market. There's a, an Albanian seller that sells um, lots of vintage embroideries and, you know, fabrics and things. And, um, and yeah, they are quite often have the, the, all the bits and pieces I, that I have I bought from them. So I have to remember, okay, there I wanted to do like a purpley. So... I've already got a purple mixed here. I used phthalo blue and and magenta, I think. And I've got it there, but I think I want to put a bit more magenta in it. Let's see. That'll be good for the darker colour. So part of the petals are the darker. Why was I going to do that over here? I was going to do that. So these petals. And I'm trying to paint them as I would embroider them. So they would be embroidered separately, if you know what I mean. Like that would be embroidered as a petal. And then that would be embroidered as a petal. And the stitches would change direction so you, they would be sort of more distinguishable. And I was going to do, oh, this one here. And then down here I was going to do some, bring some purple. I might, don't know, I might do these. Okay. Um, yep. Okay, so now I need to use more magenta. But I think I might add, I probably should clean my brush so I don't dirty my other colours that I might need again. I might add a little bit of blue into it so we get a more bluey, different sort of blue, you see, different notes, same type of purple. Oh yeah, that's going to be good. But I want to paint it a little bit lighter. So I'll have to add, might be too different, doesn't it? No, it's too different. I need to mix a bit more of the purple into it. I 
okay here's hoping yeah slightly different that'll do Oh, Slurpee. No. I can't believe you've already done two hours of of lessons, Lulu. Yeah. What have I been doing all morning? Uh, Sorry? Oh, you did that already, did you? Make up your mind, dearie. Well, that was a funny petal I put over there. what I was thinking okay so that's that then I need to do I've got oh it's dried oh and it's not like those you know if I had the gouache it would reactivate wouldn't it let's see if i can get a bit of orange going let's see mm. need to clean my brush better okay so um mm -hmm. i want a little bit of orange there let me just see yes that will do i need some orange for the center of these flowers And also for the centre of the purple flowers. Let's just add a little bit of yellow just to make it look slightly different. I should have done that, that first. Oh well. It is what it is. Okay. Now, um, okay, so I want in the center of this flower, I want it to be half orange. Okay, and half yellow, but I better, I need to get a bit more yellow. Here we go. Now, what yellow? I don't know. I'll just do any yellow. I've got deep yellow. Just a tiny bit. I bet I've chosen the wrong one. Oh, yes, that's good. Okay. Then what? That one is going to be... Oops, I need some yellow here. So 
you kind of get the idea of what I'm doing, I might stop the video because it's going to take me a while to do this. And, um, and then I'll come back and show you what I've done. So I'll see you soon. Bye. Okay, I am back and boy, did I have fun. I finished it. It took a long time. So I'm glad I didn't like video at all. I mean, it was really just coloring in with the, the paints, but you saw me do some of it. Um, I probably, I, I hadn't planned on painting so much. I was only going to paint a few things. Um, and then I just kept on going. So I've got my um, try out little thing over here testing colors, but really really love that so this is inspired by hungarian folk embroidery um absolutely i'm really happy with it so i've scanned it okay so i printed it on tea dyed paper which is really cool and that uh, so basically i did scan the whole thing i was going to cut that out but then i would i lost that flower and i actually quite like that i think i might have a play with that um so so i've scanned the whole thing and then i've i've got I did cut it down there and I saved a copy. So I've got a cut down copy without this, but it became very square. So then I just printed it, adapted it to the page. So it actually enlarged the, the design. So lots of it's being cut out, as you can see, um, but it's enlarged. Okay, so that's on the coffee dyed paper. That's the whole design. You can see the difference in size here um, between the two. And that's also on what's tea dyed paper actually now i printed it in my epson and the epson changed the colors quite a lot they became these are more sort of whiny burgundy mm, purpley reds and then in the epson when it prints out it and i printed it on really nice paper um 120 gsm but it's like more um orangey red there so that's interesting it did change that well those colors are pretty similar um, and the oranges are okay, but yeah, those colors changed and I like the color how that turned out. That's that one there So that's in the Epson So I've printed them all out in the Epson the original size and the bigger size and that's on regular copy paper And then I printed it out on my HP now look at the difference in color on my HP so They're much more vibrant the colors look much more vibrant so the HP did a really good job printing these out. Isn't it interesting? Sometimes things print out better on the Epson. Sometimes they print out better on the HP. So I printed them all out again. Oh, and then I accidentally printed them twice. <laughs> I've got millions of copies here. Um, but, the, I mean, the, the vibrancy from the Epson is just amazing. Where's the other one? That's the other big one. You see? You can compare the flowers there. Um, oh, the purples are pretty similar. And the orange is more vibrant here. Um, the blues are similar, slightly slightly more vibrant there. That's quite similar. Yeah, so that's quite interesting. And then, so, yes, I've got millions of copies here. Now, what am I going to do with them? That is the million dollar question. What will I do with them? Oh, I need to grab a, let me just grab a glue stick. I was going to do that. Um, what will I do? I don't know. Well... I'm going to have a little thing. I might, I'm, first of all, one thing I've been wanting to do is um, I've been wanting to, uh, I've just got to grab my box of book pages, see what I've got in here. I've been wanting to, this is all my, you know, bits and pieces. I just sort of throw them to one side and stick them in this box. So I've got them here. When I'm ready to make stuff, I don't have much left in here. That's a belly band. I didn't want to make a belly band. I wanted to make a tag. Well, I can use this for a tag. It's not that big though. This one's bigger. That one bigger slightly. Um, don't have any taggy things in here. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, I'll put that down on the floor. I've been wanting to make a. I'd like to make a tag. So we'll grab this one here. I'm just going to tear it down. I don't want it that wide. And I was thinking I would like to... I've got some baking paper here just in case as well. Um, oh, let me tell you. I was going to tell you who who um, this suggestion was from. 
Oh, so yeah, day, did I say day 37? It's day 38, and um, it's from Gummy Gum, and she has a YouTube channel, I think. Do you? Or, or Instagram, I can't remember. Um, Race of People, and I had thought Hungarian... Folk, I had thought folk embroidery, and then one of my favourites is Hungarian, so I decided to do that one. Right, so inspired by a, a race of people. That's my inspiration. So I wanted to get some script. So let me see. I've got those all in a folder here. I'm very organised, you see. And in here I've got some of my old letters. Now, I'm just trying to look for one that inspires me. That inspires me, yes. Maybe that one. Yes, that one, not that one. So I'm going to tear that one down. My ruler. Let me just, I think I might put some markings on it. I'll tear, let me just tear the border off. Now my mat's moved. So that was super fun guys really just so much fun to do that i like that type of painting super fun i mean obviously you can fussy cut the flowers out might even try that okay considering i've got so many <laughs> so many um copies that there. I'm going to cover this with the script. So I think I'll tear across there because that's a that's a um um like I'll use the leftover piece more than a long narrow piece. Right now I've got my glue book here. Oh. That, but I will say it really did take a long time. Did I say that? I'll say it again. It took a long time. Oh! The repeat police is here. <laughs> she was confirming that I did repeat myself. Well, there you go. I might repeat myself again. Just be ready for it. Thank you, Lulu. You keep me in check. Okay, so I'm going to cover that. Right. And then what? It's going to be fairly simple. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking I might like a little bit of textile. like that and a bit of something like this if I can open this messy cheesecloth out oh I can oh yes good um I might back it before I trim it off it's messy got lots of stuff in here I like this I like this packaging paper from Amazon you know when they they, oh, we, I ordered, um, I had ordered like actually quite a while ago from Amazon Pantry, um, took like 10 days to arrive. You'd think that the Amazon Pantry stuff would arrive in an instant, besides the fact that they make you order a minimum amount. Um, I wanted to order, order this deodorant that it's very hard to find here that, um, Steffi's very sensitive. It's got sensitive skin and any, there's, this is the only de deodorant that doesn't irritate his, um, you know, his skin. So I can't, I can only buy it at the big, um, huge supermarkets here that I don't, they are open, but we hadn't really been allowed to, to go. One of them had clothes that has it. And the other one, I wasn't allowed to go, even though it's ten, like, it takes me 10 minutes to get there. It's out of my council. It's in Rimini council, but, and not in my council. Um, so I wasn't actually allowed to go. I think I am now, but now my car won't start because we only, only turned it on twice in these last three months and now the battery's gone flat. So Steffi's going to have to fix that. 
Um, anyway, so I ordered um, the deodorant on um, Amazon Prime, Amazon Pantry, and um, but they, you know, it didn't add up to 16 euro. I had to order 16 euro to be able to put in the order, which I thought was ridiculous. Um, so I ordered some <laughs> baking paper because we, we use a lot of that. And um, anyway, what was I going to say? Oh, yes, yeah, so it arrived yesterday. It arrived like three little things of deodorant and a baking paper in a box that would have been, no joke, probably probably more, two thirds of my mat. That's how big it was and like that high. It was huge. And so, and then they, what do they do? They, they package all that paper around and I had been throwing out the paper. Um, and then I saw that someone, I might put it that way. Then I saw that someone, um, you know, they, they had that. I think in my, my birthday challenge, they had made me something with some of that paper. And I thought, why did I throw that paper out? It's lovely. It's recycled paper. It's textural. It's got a great color. So I've been keeping it. Although yesterday I was very disappointed. It arrived. The, um, the, the pantry stuff arrived, um, with the plastic bubble stuff. And I've already kept heaps of that to use when I package up journals and things if I have to put them in a box and there's a bit of space around them. Um, I don't always put them in a box, but sometimes I do. Um, so, um, so I don't always keep it, but um, the bubble, but I've got heaps of that stuff, so I threw it out. Anyway, I'm just waffling on. It's a bit of a waffle. Okay, so nice big tag and then I thought I would use some of this and oh I just don't even want to cut it up I know I've got more I've got heaps hundred and hundreds of printouts um I might even like that flower I, I wanted to tear it maybe I should tear it from my 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 um this paper I want to keep that one. I think I'll do something else with that one. I might use it from here. Let me just tear this. I'm doing it. It's so funny. I mean, it's a digital. I've digitalized it. I've scanned it. So there's no reason why I shouldn't tear it. But you become very precious when you like something. And I just thought, oh, no, it's too big. Okay. I need something smaller. Um, I'm just going to tear this off. I'm actually going to use that, I think. I'm channeling Robin Marie. She she keeps all of her testing bits. I'm sure mine won't be as nice as hers, but... Yeah, you see? I'm just going to have this simple little tag with this um, printed out painted flower. That's what's happening. That is it. I've got it. It's exactly how I envisioned it. And so I'm happy. I like that. And I'll stitch around it. Now, I did get this new punch the other day. Look at this. I'll show you what it does. It's a big whopper of a thing. Let me just grab a piece of paper. I haven't even used it yet. Ooh. It does those. Oh, I see. So it's that way. So, okay, when I put it in there, so what I have to do is just put it in there. I don't know where the, where the center is. I just guess. I mean, I guess I could do that, but I'm not going to use that. Should I go for it? It's a bit scary. That's not the center. Ha ha! So there, in there, it's huge. In there, I'm going to put... Um, I think I'm going to put a piece of lace in there. I think I will. Let's have a look. Um, anything up here? No. They're all big bits. I've got my lacy bits over here. I like that. Oh, look at this piece that I kept with holes in it. Isn't that wonderful? That would have been nice at the top. Um, one. I've got a few things in, in this little container here. Let's see what I have that might look nice in there. There's those. It's 
got gone into a mess. You see how quickly you just get into a mess. You just have to keep tidying it up all the time. Oh, got that. That's nice. Someone sent me that. Um, oh, that's nice. That's a piece of fabric that I ripped. That's an empty thing. Okay, let's see if we can put those in in a better fashion. Let's see what we like the best. So we can have, the reason why I like this is you can put it in there without it all bunching up. So I could have that and that's not exciting to me. So no, I'll put, actually I'll put that one in my little thing here. Um, that's going to be too narrow. Well, that's going to be too narrow, but it might look nice. Let's have a look. Or the other option is to put fabric through there. I don't mind that one. Or I could put even a bit of this bit of ticking in there. I might like that more. Yeah, I think I do. I'm going to put the ticking in there. After all of that, the ticking is going to go in there. So I'll just put that aside. I'll stitch that afterwards. And I'll stitch around there and down there. Okay, big gaping hole it made. Anyway, okay, so what's next? What will I do next? So I thought I could play with this. This makes me nervous. Well, I'm just going to use it as collage paper. Let's get down there. I might grab some more text. This nice text here. Let's just rip off this bit whoops cannot get my act together okay I'll put that there move that glue out of the way because otherwise I'll keep going get, to get that. I'd like to use that one because I've got all these Pritt sticks now. I remember I bought 50 because um, I didn't want to have to be going out all the time and buying glue. So I keep the Giotto glue when I want to glue down fabrics. Yes, Lily? Um, i tell you where it is. I think it's it's out there where the, um, just on the top of those drawers there, under the paints, okay. out there. Okay. okay, so that's gonna go there. That's gonna go there. I also wanna look in, no, not there. I want to look in, where is it? Here. Yes, Lily. Can I take these swatch sheets? Sure. I did. Can, can't you read it? No. I did very bodgy writing. Come here. No, it's just very light. Oh. Well, come here. Come hither. It doesn't matter. I can use the swatches on the box. Um, look. This is PR Prussian Green. Deep Yellow. I won't remember Yellow that Pale. Really. It doesn't matter. Prussian. Prussian blue, yellow pale, or in the deep yellow the Prussian. Day, yeah, I know. Deep yellow, yellow pale. That's cochineal. Red. Strange name. Um, brilliant red, deep yellow, yellow pale, fallow blue, violet. PR is Prussian blue. So you can look, you can see it over there. I've done it there. Um, emerald green. Oh, emerald green is pretty. Light. Don't know what that was. Light. 
Like so. Oh, like um, see, so, light um. So. Oh, light sap green. Light. That's how you abbreviate light sap. And gr is green. You should remember those things. Um, olive green. Sorry, guys. Um, Prussian blue it's always. Okay, I used a lot of Prussian. Oh, this is vermilion. Ver. Um, cardamom red. Cochinelle red. Again. You can write Koch. Red. Prussian blue. Pink. Magenta light. Light apricot. Those are nice colours. I thought I had another one somewhere, but I don't know. Oh, I got some pen in my finger. Oh, oh heaven, heavens to Betsy's. It's my fault, not yours. Heavens to Betsy's, Lily. Okay, I'm going to glue that down. I've been totally distracted now. Sorry. Oh, you don't have to apologise. I'm only joking. Just joking, Lulu. You don't have to apologise. Just joshing you. Did you get watercolours as well? There, no, no, that's the box for the watercolours. They were out of stock. But they gave me the box anyway. Oh, this is so cool. I, well, yeah, I know. When, well, one day I'm going to get, when they have the gouache back in stock, I'm going to get those. This is really cool. And then we put the gouache in there. Gouache. I like saying that. Gouache. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but I'll just say it like that. You like it? You like it? these things but they're a little bit small Lulu's decided she's going to paint then you'll have to come and ask me where the paint brushes are you inspired me. I've, oh I'm glad you're inspired I tried to get you going but you some nah. Uh, oh, Lulu, it's full of stuff. No, that's the tall one. Oh, yeah, the tall one, yeah. But won't you, how will you reach? You'll get us all back. I'll get You'll have to have a other, use the other chair. Yeah. Right. So I'm thinking I quite like that, but I might like this as well. This is just a piece of my scanned oh, coffee, yeah, dyed, like coffee dyed paper. She keeps on talking to me. Oh. No, I like it. Oh, I like that. Or do I like that more? I think I like that. Keep it tone on tone. I don't know where this is taking me. I've got no idea. The thing about it on the on the um on the um tea dyed paper is that it's very um it's quite textural, so it's kind of looks like that you, it's actually been painted. Whereas on the other one, it's more smooth and you lose a bit of the texture. I quite like that there somewhere. I like it pulls out the, the greens. I think I like that best. Okay, but we need to decorate it with something. Um, I don't know if I will decorate it with any of my painted bits. Let me see. No, I think it might be too much. But I do have also some of my scan doilies. Maybe I'd like to pick up something from there. So these are some of the flowers. Oh, no, not on that one. Oh, those sorts of flowers inspired me. I might just cut out this doily. And see if I would like to put that on there. Oh, I really love this. This is simple, but I think that's really lovely. I really like that. Just got another glimpse of it. Sorry, I got distracted. I'll concentrate. So this doily is actually quite big. It didn't fit into my scan scanner, so you only get a portion of it. I need my other scissors, but who? Oh, here they are. Oh, everything just fell into the garbage bin.
If I were an organised person, I would have thought about this before and chopped, cut it all out. But you, you know how it is by now. You're used to me. And I think I'm going to like that because, yes, I do like that. I'll put that somewhere. Okay. Let's get gluing. Pushing the boundaries we are. Pushing the boundaries. I think, um, you know, those Arteza um, books that I got, I'm going to do a whole book of all this sort of thing. I say that, but when, will I, when I will have time to do it, I don't know, but that's I'm going to do that. I'll put that there just for a bit of fun. Whoops. I already need to change my... That can be a pocket or a journaling card. I might put a butterfly on it. Let's have a look. Let's see if I've got a butterfly that I like. Let's have a look. Um, mm -hmm. No, I don't like the colours. No, no butterfly. Okay, I think that's going to be, I'm going to call that one done and just decide afterwards. So oh, in that, um, yep. oh, is it the bottom drawer, bottom drawer. Yep, yeah, they're all there. Can I take this whole thing? You can take the whole thing. Thank you. Okay, so what's next? What is next? We have this lovely flower here to use. What will we do? We could make a cluster. We've got a cluster. Mm. Let's see. I really like this piece. I want to stitch it into something. I won't look at that one. I don't think I want to put. Do I want to put tea dyed paper? Up? Yes, maybe. Tea dyed paper. It's fabric, not paper. Put that there like that. No, I liked it more the other way. And so just making a whole random range of things really aren't we i just had so much fun doing the painting not that color really a lot of fun really really a lot i don't think i want that anyway i do want this so let's glue this down and then i will stitch it feel like it needs something else. I've got some ticking here. Oh yeah, I like those colours. I'm just putting the glue there just to hold it, then I'll be I'll stitch it afterwards. Do I want any of this? Might tear a little bit more of that one off. Yeah. Okay, so actually I might have it that way. Just gonna get some glue on here just to hold it in place. And I like this one because it's very um, transparent, obviously, with it because it's a wide sort of weave and so you can see what's under it and I'm going to put that there and then it will be stitched later so there we go and now with these ones I was thinking they would make very nice tags these things out of the way ok 
Okay. Or that would be really nice. Where are they? Here. I'm going to cover one of these. I might cover that one. That one's a bit torn. Yep, and I'll just trim it off. So I'm just going to get the glue on there. I'm going to stick it down. And then we'll trim it down and make a nice um, painted style belly band. Oh, I like that. I don't need to do any more to that. I would just stitch down the two sides. I think that's really pretty. I like that. If I had a teeny tiny butterfly, I would put a teeny tiny butterfly flying around there. No, I wouldn't. don't like it. You see, could, could certainly collage some old book page and stuff like that on there if you wanted to but i think that's really pretty i'll put that one aside and we'll do one more actually because i've got quite a few of those so these are just the nespressos yep we'll do another one and see what happens making sure I stuck it on the correct end of the paper. And trim this off here. Talk about it's called The Office. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be really funny. Oh, yeah, I've heard of that. Yeah, I've heard a lot about really? it. Really? You can find it in English. Cool. Nice. Lily really liked the painting, didn't you? Yeah, Lily? yeah, great job. Okay, so that's that one. Now, what else? Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. Mm. So, I also thought that this here. Would be a very nice um, just fold it up like an envelope and kind of just fold it up really and just have it in a journal as a writing spot I'm just going to tear off oh, I don't need to tear that nice edge off because that's got a bit of um, where the, the cough the tea has pulled and stuff many things in front of me I'm just gonna have to move it all because it's not allowing me to tear it's crooked I really like that so I would just fold that up like that I mean you can stitch down the side and it can become like a pouch how pretty is that so it's like a, a journaling spot, but I think I might just put a little something here, a little clustery thing. Maybe, let's see. Just a little one. I am 
liking the cheesecloth with this. Maybe not quite that big like that and then put something on it just let me think what have I got what do I have what do I have what have I got oh I also I also have these things I have too many things too many things to use I may or may not like it, we'll see. I mean, you could have one of these initials, would be nice. Let's have a look. For example, maybe this one. No, that's not working. Okay, something else. Moving right along. We're not going to waste our time looking at that. Well, maybe I'll put a piece of lace or something down. The, no, not lace. I'll just put that. I'm just going to glue this down anyway. Okay, I will stitch that. I will be stitching that. I just can't decide. I would like to put something there, but I don't know what. Mm -hmm. They're all too big with that one. I don't mind that one. Ok, 
don't think I've got any little birds in here. They're all too big. I think I'll stick that down. I mean, there's endless possibilities with this. I'll just stitch down there. I didn't want to put buttons on because buttons is a good choice because I didn't want it to become too bulky. Okay, so I think that's all for the moment. You'll probably see me play with those again. Um, yeah, so there's this one. And then this is like a little cluster. And then we've got this journaling card. Or that would be quite pretty there. Um, that covers up all the writing. Um, or pocket. And then this tag. I'm really happy with the tag. It makes it more like that. Oh, that would be nice too. With or without? I don't know. Yep, so that's my video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. So um, that was the paint, original painting that I did. And um, really had fun with that. Really enjoyed it. Really, really did. Um, yep, so thank you for watching. And I will see you again soon. Bye.